Woke up one morning when I was 14, there was an unfocused dark line crossing my line of sight. Assuming my eyes just needed to clear, I moved my hand toward my face to give them a quick rub. That's when the palm-sized spider scurrying across my face, ugh, couldn't sleep right for weeks. Yo, I would be done. I would be so done. I actually, I hate that. I literally hate that, guys. Spiders are probably number one for me on things that I do not like. As a kid, I used to be really scared of them. I'm not like scared of them anymore, but they do just make me like, ugh, like, like I, I am not a fan. And just to think like there's one on your face as you're sleeping in the place that's supposed to be like my nice home, you know, like I'm supposed to be safe here. Oh God, no. D like I'm moving. The the entire place we got to burn my home hot and we just got to move guys because like we cannot be having that okay l messenger 42 10 years ago one time i was sitting on the floor watching tv and i saw a jelly bean on the floor since it was right after easter i thought nothing of it and picked it up as i was about to pop it in my mouth i noticed it feels sort of weird i look at it and turn it over and see eight little squirming red legs i throw that down and have a mini panic attack. It was a tick that was so filled with blood it looked like a big red jelly bean. Oh god, oh god. Could you imagine if they put it in their mouth and they ate it? Oh, oh, oh my god, I feel like I wanna puke. That, was just, that, I, that would be so goddamn disgusting. Holy crap, I hope that that wasn't your blood. I hope that that, like, and Lyme disease, you know, we gotta be careful of such things. Ugh, that is disgusting, that's so gross. God, your house is so clean. <laughs> It's a lot of signs, all right. Starbucks in my town went on strike yesterday. The Starbucks has been closed for a couple of days now. Starbucks strike. Leesburg Starbucks use union, what the f unionizes, could not speak for a second, protests unfair labor practices. Let's go, let's go. Why is Starbucks not unionized? You would think, right? I don't know, I guess maybe you wouldn't, but like, if you're a big corporation, like, why can't you just like pay the employees, give them breaks, you know, like a bag of coffee a week isn't just gonna keep them happy. <laughs> they need like, I don't know, somebody to care about them. Good for them. It's like hard to stand up too and like, you know, go on strike. That's big. Uh, went to a guy's house to do a project in high school. It involved the internet, and while he sat next to me, I tried to navigate to Google. Unfortunately, the address bar autofilled and took me to his last Google search. Page two of results for my name. Every link had been clicked. We both just sat in silence. Okay, yeah. We gotta be, uh, okay, dude. Um, gotta calm it down a little bit, you know? How do you recover after that? I'm assuming it's a girl, I don't I don't know for sure, but if I was that person, like, you gotta dip, you know? Like, <laughs> like do, you, do you stay there and do the project? How do you navigate this situation? You know, like, that's, I, I, I don't know. I just literally, I'd be like, hey, I'm gonna go to the washroom, we're not gonna talk about this. When I come back, we're gonna do our project, and then I'm gonna go home, and that is gonna be that, because, Ugh, that's, that is cringy. One of my friends has been going to the gym for two whole weeks, so obviously he wants to show off how much he's been lifting. At a house party, he convinced a girl he was trying to pork that he could bench press her. Okay. To his credit, he managed to get her into the air well enough. It was when he then dislocated his shoulder and she fell and chipped her tooth with her forehead that it started to go a bit wrong. Okay, yeah, dude. So we, ah, uh, yeah, this is this is why we, we just don't do those things, you know? Trying to show off how manly he's been and it's, and it's toxic and it's bad and this is what you get for doing it, okay? You know, I'm gonna tell you right now, guys. You've been going to the gym, like literally, like results speak for themselves. You, you should you shouldn't have to feel the need to do that, you know? Like, I get it, you're, you're probably a little bit drunk, you got a pretty girl in front of you, like, you wanna be with her, I guess. This is not the way, all right? This is not the way, okay? Jeez, bad. Oh, boy! Okay, I was fired for switching shifts with my friend. My manager still expected me to work my shift after firing me. My friend texted me later that night telling me he's quitting over what happened to me. Why was I removed? I'll see you soon. Why? Why you did not finish your work because you fired me. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. What in the world? First of all, why would you fire somebody for switching shifts? That's like pretty, in shift work, that's a pretty like regular thing. I mean, unless, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like what job you couldn't do that. 
When I was 10, my dad had his co-workers over to our house with their families for a Christmas party. My mom was doing the whole hostess thing and had been very stressed out. I went to use the bathroom in the middle of the party and it stunk something fierce. Being 10 and a social idiot, I then walked out into the big room with the party going on and yelled while waving my hands in this smelly motion, Phew! Who made the bathroom stink so bad? My poor horrified and embarrassed mom's face when admitting it was her. Aww, that, uh, that is the worst. Yeah, you know, like you feel for your mom at that point, you know, and you're just, exactly, like he, he literally owned up to it. It's like, I'm a social idiot. I was 10 years old. You know, you're 10, it's like, that's funny, right? Like among your 10 year old friends, like you'd be like, ha ha, it's me. And like, you'd all laugh and it would be funny and then you'd forget about it, right? Not the time, you know, not, <laughs> poor mom. Damn, she's just like trying to do her best and she really has to use the bathroom and it's, it's just a lot, you know, it's just a lot. That's the worst. My cousin said I looked good and was losing weight. Without thinking, I said, thanks, you too. Then I realized she just had a miscarriage. Still cringe thinking about it. That's just poor timing. You know, we gotta be a little bit more, you know, aware. And unless you're 10, which I don't think you are, because, you know, I, I just, I, I'm getting the vibe that you were not 10 here. Uh, that's your only excuse, you know? Like, we gotta be a bit more aware of such things than that. That's just bad, you know? That's just one of those ones where it's like, you gotta do better. Just walk out. You can leave. Work, social thing, movies, home, class, dentist, clothes shop, fee, too fancy weed store, cops if you're quick, friendships. Um, except for the cops if you're quick one, I totally agree. You can leave. You can just leave. You don't have to put up with anything. You can just go, no thanks. I mean, pick your battles, choose wisely when it's time to just leave. But yeah, you can see ya. I'm like, I'm gonna leave right now. Just kidding. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 10 years ago, wow, we're going back to this one. Not my story, but my friend worked as a waiter in Chevy's, which actually earned him some pretty nice tips. He enjoyed his job and enjoyed joking around with the customers. One day he was serving a family and the father was commenting on his own white skin. One of his kids asked if he should go out in the sun more, to which the father replied, I prefer to be in the shade. My friend asked, what, are you a vampire? Father, no, I have skin cancer. Thanks for asking. Oh. Man. Oh, yeah, that is definitely, I mean, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Like, that's just, that's rough. Like, I understand, like, you're a server, you wanna make conversation, you wanna get good tips by making good conversation, but sometimes there are just some things that you do not wanna know about, and you gotta feel for that dude. You just, you just happen to ask the wrong question at the wrong time. Hopefully, my guy has sorted it, you know, like, and he was able to recover and everything like that, but damn, that 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 is the worst. Interesting, 10 years ago as well. When my boss brings around a potential new hire and they ask me if I like working there. <laughs> mm, yeah, David Rose. I love David Rose. Schitt's Creek is so good. If you haven't watched it, watch it. I feel like everyone likes it. It's just a little ball of joy. It's such a nice show. That's why like at my restaurant job, I hate training people. Because <laughs> they'll ask me. They'll be like, how are things? They're like, how's this? And I don't want to lie because that's rude but I shouldn't tell them the truth either. <laughs> so I actually really like it here. Make mom happy. Get a job, inquire within. Man, that's not the reason you should get a job. Or maybe it is the reason you should get a job. I don't know. I guess that's a good hiring sign. <laughs> Got my attention. Very different from the traditional help wanted. They're trying, you know, a different avenue, seeing if it gets them a different market. <laughs> Make mom happy. Wonder if this was around Mother's Day. I was at a wedding and the best man was giving his speech when he gave the wrong name for the bride. Uh, there was a collective gasp from the audience. The bride was shook. He recovered and continued on, but what most people there didn't know was that he used the name of the groom's ex. I can't think about that moment without physically cringing. Dude, how do you mess it up that bad? This is why we do it, like we write a script and we get it going, you know, like how do you actually, that's the one thing you can't do, dude. Like that is straight up the one thing. that poor bride and the groom too. The groom's probably sitting there like, dude, like shut up, like shut up. Oh man, guys, if you are the best man, this is why you don't drink before your speech. After the speech, we get hammered, not before. So I quit my job Friday, but minutes later, my supervisor frantically called me to save my job. Hey, unfortunately, I have no way of coming into work, so I'm just gonna quit as of today. Sorry to hear that. 
<laughs> oh my god. Wait, so that's the text message that they sent. I'm confused. So that's the text message that they sent and then after this their supervisor called them. Also, what a text to send at 6.53 in the morning. Just right bright and early, you and the birds. Uh, and you're just quitting. You're just gonna have to quit as of today, effective immediately. Do you guys give two weeks or do you quit right when you quit? <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Saw this on LinkedIn, meant to be inspirational. The man looks absolutely defeated. 79 is still working. So proud to call him daddy. Like, yeah, the man. I love my dad. He is the hardest worker I have ever met in my life. I do not want him working at 79 years old. Not a chance. I will do anything to make sure that that does not happen. No one should have to work at 79, unless you want to. Unless you want to, which there are definitely people who want to, which like, hey, respect. Do whatever you want. Having to, and it looks like a laborious job too. Mm-mm, couldn't be me. I was in the lobby of a guest house in Thailand waiting for our car to pick us up. The manager was a tiny lady who was standing with us and she had been so lovely to us during our stay. She spoke very little English but when the car pulled up she raised her arms up to me as I stood up and I assumed that she wanted a hug from me so I obliged. Even though I recalled it was impolite to hug a Thai person. Turns out she was gesturing for me to pull the cord on the ceiling fan in order to turn the fan on because she couldn't reach it and I was tall. So awkward. Uh, okay, I mean awkward for sure, but we could we could spend that, you know, like that's not a big cringe to me. It's like, it, like that, that to me, it's almost like one of those situations where it's like you're going for a high five, they're going for a fist bump, but then you both switch and it, it's just bad. Like it is awkward, it's not great. And you know, I don't, I'm not familiar with Thai culture, so I don't know like about the hugging thing or not. I don't know like how taboo that is in their culture. I'm not entirely sure. But I mean, I feel like we could spin that off. You know, it, like when we're going back, we just read something about it. Dude dislocating his shoulder and literally chipping the girl's teeth that he's trying to sleep with. <laughs> so you know, like one or the other here. Like I'll take I'll take the awkward hug. Cafe workers, we are unionizing. Owner, lol. Then I'm selling the cafe. Cafe workers, proceed to buy the cafe and turn it into a workers' co-op. Talk about best case scenario. That's amazing. That's the best. Holy smokes. What just like a perfect circle of events. That's lovely, I wonder how the cafe's doing. What's the cafe called? Can we go there? Field trip, top 10 central field trip. <laughs> top 10 central on the scene. That's great, good for them. That's smart people too, man. I have no idea how to do any of those things. Steal a dime, you're a thief. Steal workers pensions, you're a CEO. Ooh. They said it, not me. They said it, not me. They do like to do that, don't they? <laughs> uh, not all CEOs are terrible, but there are definitely quite a few out there who are, who are greedy. Just greedy, that's what it is, is just greed. Closed due to lazy staff. <laughs> I wonder why your staff is lazy. Maybe it's because you're putting vid er, videos. Maybe it's because you're putting signs like that on the door. I don't know. If I showed up for my shift and saw that, I'd be pretty pissed off. Probably wouldn't work very hard that day. <laughs> Guess they're closed, so wouldn't be working at all. Well, I was having a particularly bad day and I chose a particularly slow line in the grocery store. Ridiculously slow. Lines twice as long were sailing through and I wasn't moving at all. And then I realized the problem. Here was taking his sweet time swiping groceries through one at a time using only one hand. He didn't care. Some teenager with a scowl on his face, probably forced to work here by his parents. Finally, I'd had enough. I snapped. This line is huge. Things would go a lot quicker if you used two hands. The people in front of me turned and stared with looks of horror and disgust and finally the cashier with a totally blank look on his face turned toward me as well. His left arm had been amputated at the shoulder. Yeah, you know, and I felt I felt like this one was common. Like you started reading it through and I was like, this is what's going to happen, isn't it? We're going to, yeah, okay, well, I, I get it. You're having a bad day. You, you just happened to be saying the wrong thing at the wrong time and you know what? Okay, honestly though, why didn't you just switch lines, right? Why didn't you just switch lines? If that happened to me, like I wouldn't cause 
the scene, I'd just be like, all right, I'm just gonna go to a different line. Like if they're sailing past, I'd be like, okay, well, just head to a different one right now, because clearly this is taking a long time. But that, yeah, you gotta feel for that. Ah, damn. So you gotta feel for that poor guy. Like he's trying his best, you know. It's just like he doesn't want to be here, and it, like it sucks. But he's gotta make money too, right? Working on my resume. Resume. Name Chris. Oh sh! I have done a lot of things. Enough about me. Why should I work for you? Good question, Chris. Very good question. I mean, you're gonna have to tell us a little bit more about you. But what is is this your resume, Chris? Is this what? Uh... Yeah, it is. Oh sh! Well, it's looking good. I probably would hire you, but I don't think you're in the market. He's good. Nah, man, my grand's notice for leaving her work. Wish I was kidding on. Dear Mr. McGilvery, notice of termination of employment. The job's crap and I'm leaving. <laughs> I'll not be back after June 30th. <laughs> Can't wait. Good luck in getting some other mug to clean the place. Cheerio, <laughs> Marlene. <laughs> Marlene is a savage. I love this. I love this. I wish that I knew what the date was when she gave it, you know? I'll not be back after June 30th. Like, did she give this and then show up for the next two weeks? Or was this like, you know, like the other person who said, I quit starting today. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, hey, do I give Dan the safety guy a discount on food? Employees discount for all food and beverage, thanks, thanks. Yo, I just spent the night in the ER and won't be coming in this morning. I apologize for any inconvenience to you, man. You're giving me two hours notice to cover your shift. Not cool at all. Man, what's not cool is the fact that I'm in the ER. I'm, something bad happened, man. I hate that, I hate that. Giving me two hours notice to cover your shift. I'm like, yeah, you do it then. This is clearly a restaurant too, which is like, the restaurant's not gonna sink because one person is in there. We improvise, all right? You can like, there's ways around it, okay? Everyone takes an extra table or you, you know, close that section off, have better seating strategies, you know, don't overwhelm anybody, no triple seating. There's so many ways to fix that. Um, and saying, you're giving me two hours notice. I could have given you no notice and just not shown up because I'm in the ER, buddy. I've got other things to focus on. Have some respect. People are crazy. Bad bosses everywhere.